Marvel Superhero Island. Are there dead superheroes in here? Does Stan Lee have more cameos on the Spider-Man ride than you've been told? And which of these giant superhero artworks is the most clever? Here are 15 or more facts and secrets about Marvel Superhero Island. Wait a minute. Doesn't Disney own Marvel? You might wonder as you explore this island, and you would be right. However, way back in 1994, Universal became the first company to own the rights to use Marvel's characters in theme parks. When Disney bought Marvel Entertainment in 2009, it committed to uphold a number of earlier Marvel agreements, including the one Marvel had with Universal. Thus, Universal owns the rights to use certain superheroes here at Islands of Adventure and they hold those rights in perpetuity. So Spidey and the gang of superheroes you see here today will be here as long as Universal wants them to be here. Sorry Disney, that's the deal. However, it should be noted, the superheroes here are based on the comics, not the movies. The backstory for this island is that it was created by a meteor blast. And this is where the meteor blasted the island and created it right where these spires are. And the spires, I believe, have heroes from different comic book ages and errors, like the Golden Age, the Silver Age, etc., etc. But if I could find a overhead shot of this island, you would see the plumes go all the way out this way. It was a huge meteor strike. See the curviness? of the curb there, indicating it's a plume from that meteor strike. Can you see how the steps here are part of that plume? The meteorite plume, the blast. That's why they're all curvy. And lucky for us, I did find an overhead shot of this island. See how it plumes out from that meteor strike? Well, that's what created the island and gave the superheroes their powers. With a top speed of 67 miles per hour, the Hulk is the second fastest ride in the park. But it does have the most inversions of any ride here at Islands of Adventure. And that would be seven of them. And one awesome roar. The soundtrack you hear on the Hulk roller coaster is by Patrick Stump, a Fallout Boy. Now here is something longtime viewers of my channel will know, but if you're new to the channel, you may not know this, but there are a few different communication devices spread across this island. In between the popcorn stand and the cotton candy kiosk, we have a crime line. You can pick this up and hear a message. And over here at the entrance to the Amazing Spider-Man ride, another crime line. Over here by Dr. Doom, we have the DoomNet communication pod. Let's listen to it. Attention, the Superhero Exchange, number 1934. This is Captain America. All Avengers, listen closely. Our individual attacks on Carnage are having no effect. We have to combine our efforts and act as one if we hope to defeat it. Four stands behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There used to be more of those communication pods, but now it's down just that one. But since we're over here by Dr. Doom anyway, I asked a question at the beginning of this video. Are there any dead superheroes here? Why, yes, there are. There are some superheroes who did not survive Dr. Doom's fear fall. Around this area, you will see splat marks. These splat marks, these are superheroes who just didn't make it. Sad but true. Another little fact or secret about this Dr. Doom area, look around, it's very pointy. And when you're up there in that ride and you look down and you see all the pointiness, it's a little unnerving. Even the plants are pointy. Here's something cool as we exit the attraction. It's Dr. Doom's throne chair. Wouldn't it be cool to sit in that? Well, you can. 
but they keep it locked up. How can you get in here and sit in the throne? You can ask for a free backstage tour called the Villains Tour. This tour is free, but it is subject to availability. It's only if they have enough staff to give you the tour. I do have a video that explains everything you need to know about the free backstage tours. I'll leave a link to it in the description box. Here's a fun little fact. Some of the buildings in Marvel Superhero Island are painted with a special paint called Chrome Illusion, which contains three-sided crystals and produce different colors depending on the angle it's viewed from and the position of the light on the object. And now we have the most popular secret here at Marvel Superhero Island. How can a secret be popular? I don't know, it just is. But the giant pieces of art you see around here, the superheroes, well, the artist, Adam Kubert, was not allowed to sign the artwork. However, he did find some clever ways to sneak in his first name. And that is most apparent here on Captain America. But now I need to answer one of the questions posed at the beginning of this video. Which of these pieces of art is the most clever? Let's explore. Well, certainly Kingpin tossing coins at the arcade, pretty clever. And most definitely, it's pretty clever to have the pretzel stand have Doc Ock and his tentacles all twisted up like a pretzel. And you gotta love Iceman being the character by the ice cream stand. But this next one is the most clever. It's my absolute favorite. Namer above the restrooms. Namer, the water superhero above the restrooms. You can't beat that for cleverness. I just, it's, it's funny and clever. Now here's a couple things I want to mention about Captain America's diner. The next time you're in here, pay attention to the music. All the songs you are hearing are related to heroes like holding out for a hero from that Footloose song. And then I want to point out Thor. Thor has just thrown his hammer right up there. But check this out. Not only can you see the hammer from inside the restaurant, but outside as well. They've thought of everything. The Spider-Man ride features cutting-edge technology, including 4K 3D animation and motion simulation to bring the web-slinging hero's adventures to life. Also, Stan Lee makes five, that's right, I said five, cameo appearances. The first cameo features him as a garbage truck driver that the ride vehicles almost crash into. The second cameo is him holding hands with a woman running underneath the movie marquee as Dr. Octopus fires at Spider-Man, misses and says, it's good enough for your sitting duck friends. Another cameo by Stan Lee features him as a bystander who sees the ride car get caught by Spider-Man's web. And in the next scene, you can see him run around the corner to hear Spider-Man say, don't give up your day job. And the final cameo is a little tricky. It's a voice cameo at the very end of the ride where he instructs the riders on exiting the vehicle and where to discard the 3D glasses. Well, I improvised and lost count, but I'm sure that's 15 or more facts and secrets about Marvel Superhero Island. And as always, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun, click that subscribe button.